Hi everyone, have you ever wondered about the invisible signals constantly surrounding us? From radio, 5G, Wi-Fi to GPS, our world is filled with wireless signals. With MATLAB and a software-defined radio device, you can start exploring this hidden world yourself, even if you have no experience. Let's discover how easy and fun wireless exploration can be. As a first step, choose the SDR device that enables you to receive and, in some cases, transmit real-world wireless signals using flexible and programmable hardware. The DEM Proto is an excellent SDR platform for beginners. This small and affordable device connects to your computer with just a USB cable and lets you exploit radio signals across a frequency range of approximately 70 MHz to 6 GHz. It doesn't require any extra power supplies or complicated setup. Just plug it in. To connect and control SDR devices from MetApp, you need to install the relevant hardware support package. On the MetApp Home tab, in the Environment section, click Add-ons, Get Hardware Support Packages. In the Add-on Exploit window, browse or search for the Communications Toolbox Support Package for Analog Devices Adam Proto Radio. Select the Support Package and click Install. The Support Package Installer will guide you through a quick hardware setup wizard. Just keep the radio connected and follow the prompts until the device is successfully recognized. To verify the connection, type Found Proto Radio in the MetApp command window. If the return structure contains a radio ID and a serial number, the Proto is connected successfully. The default Proto SDR tuning range is from 325 MHz to 3.8 GHz. The support package allows you to extend the frequency range to 70 MHz to 6 GHz by configuring the radio to operate using the AD9364 firmware with the command configure Proto radio. Now you can try the example scripts from the MetApp documentation. There are many ready-to-use examples for FM radio, 5G, WLAN, Bluetooth, satellite communications, and more. Here, I will demonstrate how to run a FM broadcast receiver example in Simulink. Let's copy the command and run it in MetApp to download and open the demo. In the MetApp script that opens automatically, run the indicated session to open the Simulink model. By default, the signal source selector connects a pre-captured FM broadcast signal to the FM broadcaster demodulator baseband block, and then to the audio device writer block. Let's run the model. Thank you for using Communications System Toolbox. Thank you for using Communication. It works successfully. Now we want to use the Proto SDR to capture live FM broadcast signals. Double click the signal source selector to switch the connection to a Proto receiver. Save the model and then reopen it. You can see the Proto receiver block is active now. Double click on the Proto Receiver and make sure its radio ID matches the ones we obtained early using the Found Proto Radio command. The baseband sample rate and the samples per frame are set using certain parameters. You may wonder when the model creates these parameters. Let's check if there's any callbacks. A callback is a function that is automatically executed in response to a specific event or action in a program. Right-click on the model canvas and open the model properties. 
you can see that the fmr experiments is created by a preload callback function named helper fm config. Let's open that function in MATLAB. You can see it first sets default parameters and then creates the signal source based on the selected type. When using a proto SDR as the signal source, specify proto as the radio type in the SDRX function to create a receiver signal object for the proto SDR hardware. You can type help SDRX in the command window to check the meaning of different input arguments. Finally, you can see that the FM broadcast demodulator is created and the FM RX parameters are set. Let us go back to the model and change the center frequency to 103.7 MHz, which is my favorite FM broadcast channel. Run the model. 全新升级, now, I have my own laptop controlled FM broadcast radio. It's not perfect, but it works. To summarize, MetApp's hardware support packages let you easily connect to and control SDR devices, generate and process waveforms and developer and test wireless algorithms, all with simple MATLAB commands and Simulink models. This integrated workflow accelerates the journey from concepts to real-world wireless applications, making MATLAB with SDR the ideal platform for wireless education, research, and rapid prototyping. As a result, Wireless technology is becoming more accessible, engaging, and exciting for everyone. If you are interested in running the model yourself or exploring more of the wireless world with MATLAB and SDRs, be sure to check out these resources. Thank you for watching.